Okay, this is how it's done. Remove a seat cock while it's still in the water. Take off the upper hose, off the seat cock itself, and just set it aside. Then what you're going to do is get your wrench and and I've already broke this loose, so it's already loose. The seacock is with your uh, channel locks. Have everything in place. You're gonna need a you're gonna need a plug that fits the hole. Little tapping device, hammer, and uh, have the other seacock basically in hand, ready to go. Okay, hang tight here. Yeah. Alright, so make sure that the position that you put it in is, is proper. So that's outside, this is inside. And the seacock works open. Okay, so this is the seacock ready to go. But what we're going to do is because there's things in the way here, I'm going to move them out of the way and uh, get ready for this water to come in. It'll come in pretty good. So just uh, get your hands wrapped around it. Get everything in place. That's the important thing. There's a single guy going to do this. That's it. And you're going to make sure that that everything is ready to go so I know now that this handle has to come off so I need to take this handle off because it's uh, it's gonna be in the way of me turning so I'm just gonna take off the handle pretty simple let's take off the take off the retaining nut here give it a little tap and that puppy should just come right off. Wiggle it a little bit. All right, so top and bottom. All right, so there's the seacock. No handle on it. I took that, removed the handle off of here. So now I'm just gonna reach over with my other hand and I'm gonna unscrew that one. Keep everything close to you. You wanna take a breather then if you're worried about it, just put your hand over it for a second. I'm not going to blow you out of there. You'll see how much water comes in. That was it. Maybe a cup of water. So now, already, I put the plug in there just with my hand, but now I'm going to go ahead and put the seacock on. So there, you know, we got approximately approximately eh, like four cups of water really is about it so now I'm screwing on the other seacock this is the old damaged one right here and uh, where are you going hon? back to work? okay love you bye so then this is my wife then I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on here tight enough to where we can get to the handle. Important that you put this on good enough to where you can get the handle straight up and down. No leaks, so that's tightened up good enough. You don't have to bear tighten it, but I got a little electrolysis going on down here, and that's because this wire right here is the grounding wire and it's off so this is part of the reason why you have to have grounding wires on everything that you have on a boat very important if you don't do it you're kind of screwed all your parts will turn green and nasty and just fall off your boat so okay so now we're ready to basically just go ahead and put the seacock back on again now this is in that's in the up that's in the on position so we could we got to put this on let's see here let's twist this a little bit more here
so that's off. This is on. You can see the water coming in. All right, all right. So then you put your retaining nut back on to the outside here. You can see that. And then once you get that the proper wrench and put it on. So that the handle is on in the proper spot that it needs to be. Okay. So now we're good. Not yet. Most people don't do these things in the water, but I do, and I do it without a diver. So now we're back to where we were. Let me move this a little bit here so you can see what's going on. So now the handle is in the position it needs to be in, and when you turn it up, water flows in very nicely. So. That's basically all you need to do now is uh, put the hose back on and uh, job done. So, thanks for watching. It's me. <laughs>